Hello, 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 and welcome back to my first video for almost three weeks. There's been a reason for that. I've been full of a cold. I've not been up to recording any videos. But I'm still bunged up, getting better. I thought I'll start recording again. But as you can see, we're in FS Economy, which is a program that you can use with your FSX. It's program just have to search fseconomy.net and register on the program there's videos that will explain what to do today we're going to be making our first flight in our very own Cessna um, it's cost me $172,000 but I've got it now the only thing is that my own base is Manchester and the Cessna is over in New Zealand so what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this Cessna on a journey over across the world and we're going to get it back to our own base and we're going to make some money on the way so we're currently at uh, Rotorua and we're taking three uh, New Zealand passengers to so Auckland. We're going to get paid $1,814 for this journey. Aircraft's already mine. I still have to rent it, which I think is a bit daft, but I've fully laden it up with fuel. It costs me nothing to rent. If I wanted other people to rent it, then I'd have to put a price on it. But then when I'd rent it myself, it charges me to pay myself, which I think is a bit stupid. So I've already sorted a route out. I've not had a look at the weather conditions because New Zealand are 11 hours in front of us. And I'm recording this video on a Tuesday afternoon, which means that the simulator time is not going to be correct with UK time. So all the weather conditions are going to be out. I'm going to have to go to historical weather on my Active Sky. So I'll I'll get into Active Sky. We'll have a look at the weather conditions, the wind conditions, um, what runways we're going to be taking off from and landing on. So I'll be back again in a second. The weather conditions currently at our aircraft position at Rotorua. Uh, it's partly cloudy. Temperature 20 degrees, 68 Fahrenheit. Uh, surface winds are at 299 at 5 knots, which means we'll be taking off from runway 36. Some scattered clouds from 16,400 feet to 24,800 feet. But we're not going to be flying that high. So what we'll do is we'll go and have a look at the weather conditions in Auckland, which is November Blue Alpha Alpha. Forecast it forward two hours. All right, it's nice and clear at Auckland. Uh, same de same temperature, 20 degrees, 68 Fahrenheit. Surface winds are 360 at 6 knots. Visibility is 10 plus miles. Uh, we're going to be landing on either runway 5 left or 5 right. What we'll do is now is I'll go and show my route in the little nav map. And then we'll get plane prepped. We'll get our passengers boarded. And then we'll get on our way. I'll join you again in a moment. So here we are, little nav map. Um, as you can see to the left hand side of the screen, I've got my route. I'm going off a said of Nico 2 Romeo, which takes us to a waypoint of Nico. Um, there's a restriction at that. I've got to be below 4,000 feet. So what we'll do, I'll zoom out the map and we'll have a look at the route. So I've zoomed out the map. As you can see, this orange line is the SID line, which takes me to the waypoint of Nico. I've got to be below 4,000 feet, below 220 knots. I'll I'll be way below that speed restriction. Uh, traveling in the northeast direction for nine nautical miles to that waypoint. So I'll then be traveling in a northwesterly direction. Go book, continuing in that northwesterly direction to NDB of RD, which is Miranda. Then we're traveling westerly over a couple of local towns, Procano, Tuacau. I don't know, that. I don't know whether they uh, know somewhere like that, but to a waypoint of WI, which is Waiku. And because my navigraph is out of date, doesn't have the correct star. Uh, um, Oh, I've just gone off the charts, which takes me northwestly to Steel, north to Pora, and that's seven nautical miles away from the airport. And from there, I'll pick up the glide slope in the ILS. So what we'll do is we'll go and uh, jump into the aircraft, get the passengers loaded, do all our checks, we'll get onto the runway, get the bird in the air, and get these to uh, Auckland. Right, ATC have decided of a change of plan because. The wind direction's changed. So rather than taking off on runway 36, we're going to be taking off at runway 18. No, no great shakes, no biggie. Just means that when we get, uh, we'll just have to do a full 180 degree turn, get back on our course. I'm flying this VFR. Off, runway 18, 
Oh, start, start, and I'll take you through the takeoff. Show you some of the scenery. Show you some of the views. Uh, we'll get up to top of climb. A few panning out shots, and then we'll do the major part, which will be the descent and the landing. What I'll do is I'll join you later on when we're gonna be uh, at our descent and our landing.
Right, we're currently leveled out at 2,000 feet. Gone past my last waypoint. Going to intercept Clyde Slope so any time now. I fire this in by hand. Turn now. In the airport. Take the autopilot out. Hide in my hand. Landing clearance. Right. First lot of flaps on. I'm about five miles away. Speed down. Way above the glide slope. Light slope starts coming back in. I can't understand that planes are landing on twenty three left. Me to land on five right. Go bang on the glide slope now. Need to straighten up, fetch it in. Oh, down had it quite enough to come off at Alpha. Up. Get to a stop here. Okay. 
Right, right, let's get this the general aviation parking. Some wind up there, some clouds. Nothing too too concerned about. Quite a pleasant flight. These three are uh, New Zealand passengers. Passing on to Bravo then. Bravo. this all the way down to Charlie 5 Yeah, just to move right on side. <laughs> well, seven three seven three hundreds to my left. Early five is just before the fuel pump. Not left of us. Turn in here. Find a parking spot.
parking space out the way. Here will do. I'm break on. <coughs> engines off then we'll go and have a look in FS economy we want to see how much money we made from this flight and how much it's cost us all together so I'll join you when we're doing our totting up and we're putting our money in the bank right here we are the payment log the income for those three passengers was $1814 as I've said before because I'm using my own aircraft now there's no rental cost no fuel no landing fee nothing all I've had to do is pay 181.40 the ground crew fees gave me a total earning of $1632 so with that I'm gonna go back I'm gonna have a look at my next flight from Auckland I've already got one in mind no matter what how long it takes how many drops we have to do we're gonna get this plane back to Manchester so with that I'll end this video here and with that don't forget if you like what you see hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification for any further videos and smash that like button it really does help me out and with that I will bid you goodbye